In this video, we are going to learn about zero error of some instruments. Then, what is a zero error? A zero error is an indication that a measuring system gives a false reading when the true value of measured quantity is zero. In other words, it's supposed to be zero reading. However, the, an instrument gives you a non-zero reading. Then we say that instrument has a zero error. Let's look at this example, a weighing scale. The needle of the weighing scale failed to return to the zero marking when no load is placed on it. Let's look at the zero error in vernier calipers. Before that, let's look at what is the non-zero error in a vernier caliper. For example, before we use a pair of vernier calipers, we must examine if there is a zero error. A pair of vernier calipers which does not have a zero error when the two jaws are closed will look like this. The zero mark on the main scale will align with the zero mark on the vernier scale. Therefore, we say this pair of vernier calipers has no zero error. However, whenever we have a zero error in the measuring system, we must subtract this zero error so that our actual measurement is accurate. So let's go and look at the examples of zero error in vernier calipers and learn how to handle those errors. In this example, here, this pair of vernier calipers has a positive zero error. Therefore, we must subtract the zero error from the observed reading to get the actual reading. So now we look at the zero error on this diagram. A vernier caliper will have a positive zero error when the zero mark of the vernier scale of the vernier caliper is on the right of the zero mark of the mean scale. So it looks confusing, however, it is easy to remember. When there is a positive zero error, it is as if the vernier caliper's jaws are open. However, it is not so because we say it has a zero error when both jaws are closed, but yet it gives us a non zero reading. Therefore, it has a zero error, and this zero error is a positive zero error. In this example here, it has a positive 0 0.03 cm. And the observed reading is 3.17 cm. Therefore, the corrected reading is 3.17 minus a positive of 0 0.03 cm then the corrected reading will be 3.14 cm. So this is the zero mark on the mean scale, and that is the zero mark on the vernier scale, does not align with each other. Therefore, it shows that this, this pair of vernier calipers has a zero error. Negative zero error. A negative zero error means we must also give us a false reading. However, when we subtract a negative, we will get a positive. Let's see how. The zero mark of the main scale, and this is the zero mark of a vernier scale. Now, the zero mark of the vernier scale is on the left of the main scale, as if when there's nothing in between the jaws, the vernier calipers has been closed too tightly, such as it gone into the negative region of the main scale. Therefore, it carries a negative zero error. In this case, when we are reading a negative zero error, we read from the 10 unit. That means from the back of a vernier scale. There's one, two, and three units or three division from the back. Therefore, this pair of vernier calipers has a negative 0 0.03 cm. 
and the observed reading is 3.11 cm. The corrected reading is 3.11 minus a negative of 0.03 cm. Therefore, the final reading is 3.14 cm. Question. What are the zero errors in the following example? In this case, it is the first marking. Therefore, the zero error is positive. And it is 0 0.01 cm. Second example. What is the zero error of the vernier clippers? Do you need any clue? Look for the alignment between the main scale marking and the vernier scale markings. Is this a positive zero error or negative zero error? Yes, the zero marking of the vernier scale is to the left of the zero marking of the main scale. Therefore, it is a negative zero error. Now, observe the alignment between the markings of the two scale, the vernier scale and the main scale. Okay, we can see that it is on the eighth marking. However, because this is a negative zero error, we must count the measurement from the last marking to the 8. That is from 10 to 8, which is give you 2 division. Therefore, the negative 0 error is negative 0 0.02 cm. 